Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. I'm your host, Seishu, and I'm with Andrew Fundy Funderberg of Fundy Software. Now, Fundy and I go back way, way, way back, but he's back out here talking to us today about how to design albums quickly and really, really quickly. Um, he's got a webinar coming up with Shoot.Edit on November 4th, and I couldn't be more pleased to have him back on the show. Uh, he's always brought something cool to share all the time, and I can't wait to hear from him. Fundy, thanks for joining us, man. Thank you so much. It's great to be back. Let's jump in, bud. You know, you've been in the business of album design and album design software for some time, and it's 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 something that comes naturally to you. Um, I've always been extremely thrilled with how you've taken the company from, you know, where you were back I don't know, how many years ago. <laughs> and it was just me. <laughs> yeah, it was just just you and you and I talked about it before you even came back to uh, the country from Japan. Uh, we talked about you know how it's going to be useful to wedding photographers, and it's not only wedding photographers are using the software; it's also portrait photographers who are all, you know who are offering albums to their clients. Uh, it's beyond that. Let's let's go back to that time when you when you were starting to think about this product, this this resource for photographers. Could you imagine back then this is what's going to happen to the company? No way, man. When I when I first started, the goal was to have a little extra money for the kids' college fund. Ah. Um, and to this day, they don't have a college fund. So <laughs> <laughs> Somebody should tell them. A business. <laughs> but I think, uh, I think what really helped me is my, my degree is in literature, which is basically storytelling. And so I approached the entire problem of album design, not from a technical problem, but from a holistic storytelling problem. And so, and, and I think that's helped uh, it resonate with photographers because, um, you know, we're, we want to tell stories. We don't want to clunk around with album design software. So uh, the first problem, um, and we just got our patent, which is really awesome, got a nice plaque in the office, uh, is that we use our organic drop zone technology where the designs design around your images, not trying to put your images into some boxes on a page. So uh, as creatives, we don't like boxes. We don't like to be boxed in. So uh, that's that's the whole, no the whole kidding. point. Indeed. Um, and you've, you've made it to a point where the design process is just so incredibly fast. In fact, your come the webinar that's coming up it's called lightning fast album design techniques uh for photographers and you, you before we started recording you said yeah. something about a photographer who who just yeah. broke all kinds of records tell us about that photographer if you don't mind so, so the current record i know of um and if you're listening and you're a user and you've topped this please let me know um hiram trillo who uh, you may have sp seen speak at wppi or uh you know, some other conferences he um he designed an album in seven minutes for a client, uh, uploaded it to the design proofer, and it was approved with no changes. And this was a 30-page album. So that's the current record, 30 pages, seven minutes. Wow. But the key wow. is, I mean, you can design anything in seven minutes, but if your client doesn't like it and you have to do right. 10 revisions, then it doesn't matter how fast you made the original design. So the key to that is it, it was approved as is. So he was done. Awesome. Wow. Um, this was before Fundy Direct was a available, but now that Fundy Direct's available, he could just click a button, uh, choose his cover materials, and be done because you can order directly from the designer. So, um, you know, that's really exciting, and that's what we're about. We're we're not about just you know some flashy tips and tricks, um, but actually producing designs that your clients are going to love and that you're going to love because you are in control of that process. Let's walk through that process, if you don't mind. Let's walk through that process in, yeah. in helping uh, photographers, my audience, understand what you would recommend from your perspective how things should be. So uh, just as with anything, the, the actual design uh, begins the moment you pick up the camera, right? So uh, you want to make sure you get uh, a few good panos in there. You know, always have a, have a couple panos where you have the giant landscape and the bride and groom are smaller within that landscape, maybe about, uh, you know, 20% uh, of the area of the image. So you can have some panos in there. And then the key is, is every time you walk into a situation, and this is true with portraits, boudoir, weddings, engagements, whatever, um, always shoot that for that main image, but always shoot uh, supporting images. 
Okay. Right. Okay. Right. So, you know, the bride's getting ready, click bigger image where you get some of the room and then maybe some close ups of the bride. Click, click, click. Um, first look, click, close ups, click, click, click. So that when you get to the design process, you're not uh, fumbling around looking for images that go together. You've you've shot. Uh, and then the next step, obviously, is when you're culling, remember to cull those images into the culling process also. Right, right. Um, you know, and then uh, culling, go into Lightroom, do your retouching, um, or not your retouching, do your, uh, you know, editing, uh, exposure, whatever. And then in Lightroom, what I do is I go through another pass where I do a design culling. And so I just go, you know, select in Lightroom, you know, hit the seven key, tag yellow, whatever right. you want to do in right. there. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I just export those design selects. And, you know, if, I, if I'm going to include 80 pages in the, or 80 images in the album, uh, you know, cull down to maybe 120 or something. So you have some extras in there. Got it. Last thing you want to do is import a thousand images and then fumble around trying to figure out what you're going to design while you're designing. Right. Really, really hard to do. Absolutely. So essentially, uh, less is more. Correct. Yeah. Indeed. And and uh, be very surgical about your decisions. Right. You know, uh, hey, this is what I'm going to include in it. And then it's just a matter of dragging those images onto pages, uh, organizing and designing as you go. Uh, and then, you know, in the webinar, you'll be able to see how you can apply an auto design in one second, but you can in just three to five seconds, you can completely customize that because you're in control of that organic design process. Fantastic. Uh, it's one thing that you've mentioned that uh, about creating those supplemental images as you're photographing a scene. And, and yep. that, I think most photographers who are starting out probably don't even think about that. I yep. think they're, they miss that completely. And even some, uh, I've even seen a lot of photographers that uh, have been around quite a long time and they really focus on those wow shots, right? right? And uh, which is great, you need those wow shots, but remembering to get those uh, supporting images makes the design process so much easier. Uh, when it comes to, to getting feedback from the clients, I know you have a, a, a resource or a product that yeah. allows a a uh, client to come in and, and talk about what well, you know kinds of changes mm -hmm. that he or she would like in yep. the album. Um, how easy has it been for photographers to incorporate that sort of process in, in terms of uh, making so, those making those changes or understanding those changes and making those changes on yep. on your on your software? So uh, what we've done uh, is so back in I think it was '09 we released the very first album proofer. And we were the very first design proofing software in the world. Even you know now, all sorts of people are using it in the graphic design world and project management world to allow the client to comment directly on the image or the design. We were the first ones. Now everybody does it, right? Everybody's sure. copied uh, what we do. So with this last iteration of Design Proofer, what we've done is... Uh, Instead of concentrating on comments and changes, which just creates more work for you, we really have tweaked the design to really focus on approvals. Oh, awesome. Right? Okay. So getting, getting approved as quickly as possible. And if that client needs changes, they can easily do that. Um, and the login and the export is, connect, is uh, directly connected to the Fundy Designer. So once your design is done, uh, to export for proofer and then upload it is... Uh, two minutes maybe uh, and then send out a link and then the client can go ahead and log in there and check changes and and whether they approve it or make changes they click a button and you get an email right. with a link to click on and you can see those it, it might help to perhaps lay the groundwork for those listening in uh, to understand that fundy designer is uh, like a hyper integrated software like you've got you can jump from one thing to the next, yep. really within one window almost. Yep. And I, so, I think that's phenomenal, by the way. Yeah. So you know? it's one application. So once you know your, your album design is done, you can uh, watermark and brand your images, right. do some quick blog collages for your blog or social media. Uh, and then as of uh, next week, you'll be able to do in-person sales with wall art. Um, and you can do it in person or over Skype, just like we're doing. Awesome. So, and then, so once your design is approved, um, you'll need, often you'll want to do some minor retouching on your images before you order that album. 
So uh, we integrate directly with Photoshop or any other program uh, that you want. Actually, if you go on our blog today, uh, we have a free uh, retouching action that works within Photoshop. So you can just click on an image or a group of images. Those pop open in Photoshop. Quickly do a skin retouching, you know, blemish removal, liquefy, whatever you want to do. And when you save that, it auto-updates within Fundy Designer. Oh, and so you never have to truly leave Fundy Designer, and then you just click a button and order that direct. And so, uh, for example, like uh, Miller's Lab is one of our direct customers. Um, you click order, choose your material, put in your credit card, and then it's two or three days in the lab and then overnight shipping to you. So you could, have your, you could order your album on Monday and have it before Friday. So you, you've uh, sidestepped rows in a way, almost, right? <laughs> Exactly. You know, and we do, uh, it actually, a lot of the labs will go through Rose Bridge or we go around Rose. Um, so basically, so, you know, what I've found is that oftentimes maybe you'll design the album and then you'll go to order it maybe in Rose or online, but you, maybe you chose the wrong size or the size you chose doesn't have the options. Right. So you have to travel back or, you know, you have to go look for a login or you have to, you know, it takes an extra 10 or 15 minutes right which is profitable so we've built the ordering right within the fundy designer you click a button exports uploads all within the application once it starts uploading go design another album or whatever you want to do and once that upload is done you click a button choose your cover material imprinting you know any of those album options uh, and then you check out you're done awesome Hey, uh, your uh, your webinar is coming up on November fourth. I wanted to just remind people. It's yep. uh, thanks to Shoot That Edit, uh, wonderful people there. Uh, you know, if you are a wedding photographer, particularly a wedding photographer who's actually working on photographing weddings constantly, and you've got just a ton of work to process, let Shoot That Edit handle it for you, please. Exactly. So yeah. if Shoot That Edit does it, then they you know you can get that Lightroom catalog back, open it up. Just choose your design selects, right, and then shoot that out. And then we also have, if you are, you know, I talked about Photoshop retouching, but if you're a Lightroom only person, mm -hmm. once your album is done, uh, we have a function where you just click a button and it gives you a Lightroom friendly search list of only the images in the album. Oh, wonderful! And then you can create a sub collection in Lightroom and tweak those images, re-export and auto update in Album Builder also. Wow. I mean, just just, just think that's, of that's crazy stuff right there. It, it is crazy stuff. And, and think of that's the time savings on that, you know, yeah. and, 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 you know, I don't know if we can beat seven minutes, but definitely having, <laughs> having, having this, these, if you do, let me know. <laughs> I know. Right. I, if you have these, these tools uh, in front of you and you're not using them, I don't know why really, you know, uh, because it's it, time saved is time made, you know, uh, or money made. So, um, Let's uh, quickly talk about the, the webinar itself. Is there anything specific that you're going to be bringing to the webinar uh, that, uh, that we can talk about briefly as a teaser or or, or, or will be done? Well, so, you know, that's, that's the thing. In the last webinar uh, I did, I was able to do a wedding, signing book, and family album all within one webinar, wow. which included, you know, uploading the proofer, uh, talking about design concepts. So... You know, no matter what type of photographer you are, mm -hmm. uh, whether you know it's wedding, uh, boudoir, uh, portrait, um, every single one of our clients deserve to have their story in print. You know, I'm a firm believer; everybody deserves to have their story in print because uh, everything we have in the digital realm will one day be lost. Right? We can't. I have hard drives on my shelves. I don't even know what images are in the hard drives. Right. And um, when uh, when we pass away, you know, our children may our grandchildren definitely definitely won't open up our old hard drives, but they'll definitely pull uh, an album off the shelf. They'll definitely pull canvases that are up in the attic out to check them out. So if we commit to telling the stories of our clients and putting them in print, you know, we're really doing something for their grandchildren and great grandchildren. Indeed. That's such a, a, a really a truly noble cause in my mind as well. I completely agree with you that we should be printing prints and albums and everything else that goes on a wall as well needs to be on on actual material that you can you can actually enjoy yeah. all the time. Um, just... Yeah, tell us tell us a story about that. So yeah, this this piece of paper, this actual print I'm holding, the print is a hundred years old. Wonderful. 
Look oh, at the lighting on that. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. So this was a uh, great uncle that went to World War I. Uh, he had this portrait taken and then sent back to his family, and then he was killed not too long after that. So oh, this, wow. is, this is the last photograph of him. Hmm. Right? Yeah. You know, and we, you know, we've all heard those stories. You know, we do a portrait shoot, and somebody gets cancer. Somebody gets hit by a car. You know, there's, there's tragedy all around us. And, right. you know, we have the privilege of preserving someone's story. Indeed. Indeed. Thanks, Fundy. I appreciate your time, and I look forward to chatting with you again uh, Thanks, when, buddy. when Gallery Designer ships in the next couple of weeks or so. Yeah. Talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.